Hey you guys, got an interesting video today. Today we're going to learn how to get started modding Balloons Tower Defense 5 Deluxe Flash Edition. Or basically, this. There are a few differences between this version of Balloons Tower Defense 5 Flash, which is on Ninja Kiwi's website, and Balloons Tower Defense 5 Deluxe, which is what we'll be learning how to mod. You can go to btd5-fandom.com to see more information on it. To sum it up, the difference between BTD5 Deluxe and regular BTD5 Flash was BTD5 Deluxe costed $10 and had a lot more features than the original version of Balloon Star Defense 5 Flash. If you want more info, this link will be in the description. In this video, we're just going to set up the tools and go over the basics so we can be ready to make mods with it moving forward. Before continuing, we gotta give a huge thank you to Mr. Nuke, who's in pretty much every one of the Balloons Tower Defense modding servers. While all the information for modding Balloons Tower Defense 5 could be figured out on your own, only a couple people have actually done that, Mr. Nuke included. And he's kindly providing all this information to us so we don't have to figure it out ourselves. So if you see him, make sure to give him a thank you. So before continuing, go to your desktop, make a new folder and call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it BTD Flash Modding. And we're gonna put all the files we download inside this folder. You'll be able to download those files from the Discord server, which is in the description of this video. Go to the Flash Modding channel in the server and download these four files. All right, so when you're downloading the JPEX Flash Decompiler, just scroll down until you see a version that doesn't have the word preview with it, and then download the version meant for your operating system. Mine's Windows. When downloading the decoded BTD5 Deluxe files, click on the link. You're gonna need both of these files. Just click on the first one, right click, and click download, and then save it to the folder on our desktop that we created. Do this for both files. To download the third file, the main deluxe files, click on the link, and then click on the little download button in the top right corner. I'm going to skip this last file. This file is going to tell you where all the juicy modding files are going to be, and since I already have a dia idea, I'm going to skip it, but I recommend you download it. All right, so we're in our folder. Start off by making sure airloader.swf is just airloader.swf and nothing more. We're going to rename btd5.decrypted to btd5.swf. Make sure those are the names of those files. And then you're gonna need 7-zip for this last part. Right click on btd5.deluxe, click 7-zip, click extract here. If you don't know where to get 7-zip, you can Google how to get 7-zip. If you right click this and don't see the 7-zip option, you can press the start button, type in 7-zip if you've already downloaded it. It'll bring up this window, just copy the path at the top, go back to 7-zip, paste it in here, and you're inside the same folder. Double click, you see the folder, drag it over, you're good. That wasn't exactly in English, but you guys just copy what I did. Lastly, we're gonna create a new folder, we're gonna call it backup. And we're going to take a copy of these three files and put them in there. We're also going to rename airloader.swf to airloader underscore original. And we're going to do the same thing for btd5.swf. We are never going to mod these two files. These are just backups. Before going any further, I just want to tell you what these two files are. So airloader.swf is a serial key. Because as I said earlier, btd5.swf used to cost money. So in order to unlock it so we can actually play it and mod it, we need to have a serial key and that's what airloader.swf is. All the other game files and the exe that we'll be playing on are gonna be in btd5d free. So you should have JPEX installed by now. Go ahead and open it up. Once it's open, click the open button in the top left corner. Go to the folder that you installed or downloaded everything in. For me, it would be this folder. And then double click on btd5.swf, making sure it's not your backup. Let it load. Don't do anything until it's done loading. This is the window you'll see when it starts. I like to call this window right here the file browser or the script browser. When you click on these items, it'll start populating everything over here. As you can see, we've got some assets. If you click on the top where it says btd5.swf, it'll actually start playing the game here, but we can't use this version to play and we'll cover that later. To get rid of this, just click on one of the folders. Almost all the modding we'll do in these tutorials is gonna be in scripts, so go ahead and click the plus button next to scripts. If you're familiar with modding Balloons Tower Defense 5 and Battles for Steam, this is really similar to those files. I recommend looking around, seeing what's here. This is where the important files that we downloaded earlier would be useful. Let's go ahead and open Towers and open up Tower Factory. As you notice, the new window came up called ActionScript. ActionScript is a programming language used to make Flash games. 
What happened was we clicked on Tower Factory and JPEX decompiled it into ActionScript. If it takes a long time to decompile the file, just wait, don't do anything, but there's a chance that it's not gonna decompile properly and you'll get a decompilation error. We'll go over how to deal with that later. Now I'm gonna scroll down. We see some stuff already popping out. We got uh, cannon ships, specters, sun god sticking out. What do we got here? Oh, look, we've got some weapons now. We've got the sunbeam, pierce, the radius. Nice. If I click on any one of these, it's gonna populate the P code window. As far as I understand, P code is just more in depth action code. It doesn't mean it's necessarily better or worse, it just shows everything in substantially more detail. You can make your mods editing either or both action code and P code. However, as I mentioned a moment ago, sometimes the files aren't going to decompile properly, so you will have to edit it with P code. In the event that you did get a decompilation error, you can still click on the decompilation error and it will bring up the P code. You can also go to tools and click on search text. I'm gonna type in sniper as an example. It's gonna search all the files for anything to do with the sniper. While it's searching, make sure you don't mess with this window because there's a chance you can cause it to freeze and crash. All right, so it's finished searching. This is the window that popped up. It's gonna list every file that has an instance of the word that we searched for. I'm gonna go ahead and click on towers.tower and this is what comes up. I'm gonna move this to the right here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it caused the action script window to change and the P code window to change. So if you can't get your action script to load and you use the search function, it will load the P code no matter what. So now we've got a bit of an idea of how that all works. I'm not gonna actually be making any mods in this video. This is just how to get everything set up. So let's play pretend like we did make a mod. We go back to file and click save. And now it's finished saving. All right, so I'm back in our original folder. I'm gonna copy btd5.swf and I'm gonna click on btd5d3 until I get to the assets folder, which is inside btd5deluxe. I'm gonna paste it and replace the original file. And now I wanna point out when you see this air loader, which is in the same folder as btd5deluxe.exe, this air loader is a serialized version of the air loader we downloaded, which means this will prevent us from playing the game. So we're gonna go back to our original folder. We're gonna copy airloader.swf, go back to where we were a second ago, paste it and replace the original file there. If we were to run the game now, it would work. If you did not replace the air loader, what you'll have now is a white screen. You'll be stuck on a white screen and the game won't be loading any farther. If we tried to load the game now, it would run, but it would still ask us for a serial key because it's not in our files. So what we're gonna have to do is copy com.ninjakiwi.balloonstowerdefensedeluxe, which is basically just one folder back. If you're confused, go to your main modding folder, click on btd5deluxe, btd5deluxe, and then Boom, there it is right there. Go ahead and copy that. Press the start button on your keyboard. Type percent app data percent, press enter, and then just paste it in there. You just paste the whole folder in there. Overwrite anything that might already be there. Close it off, and let's give the game a shot. Looks like it's working. All right, there we go. If I click play, you can see I can create a profile. I'm gonna make a profile. Bam, look at that. All right, that's the video guys. Thank you for watching. In other videos, we're gonna cover how to actually make mods, but this one was just how to get started. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.